Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Chili Flavor with your truly travel, aka better call my Mr. Nakapat, right? So today we're doing a quick and easy full vegan meal, okra rice. Um, it's an okra cook up rice, so we do like a pillow with all the ingredients of a pillow except the meat we use it today, no meat, full vegan meal, right? Um, take a look at that okra rice, guys, amazing okra rice, top of the line, chat up matter, guys, right? So we have here, we have the ingredients. That's what we're using here, we have the okra, we have some of the that uh, what we're going to use. Right, so stay tuned, let me go on, bubble up on. Right, so we're here back with the ingredients. So we're going to show you for the okra rice, right? We have 15 okra cut up here in little pieces, slices. We have two tomatoes. We have two pimentos, one scotch bonnet pepper, and one large onion, finely diced, right? We have two teaspoon of minced garlic, two teaspoon of green seasoning, right? Remember, we have the green seasoning recipe on the channel as well, right? We're using some Maggi all purpose salt black pepper and sars and tropical we'll be using right and obviously the maggi coconut bran milk right one of the best milk on my my option to use i rather this i this is my preference right maggi coconut milk so using three packs of this where's the equivalent to 150 grams right um three boxes equivalent to one box of the maggi um use whatever you have at your at your convenience you can use right so we're gonna start with the cooking process here now We'll, sh we'll show you from the step-by-step -step process on the whole cook cooking of the okra rice, right? We only have to add some carrots to this. We have one carrot to add to this, and we we'll add the carrots to this as we go. And this is going to start with the cooking process here now. This is a small pot, so guys, it's not the wild mode one. So we're adding two pots, spoon of oil. Two pots, spoon and a half, right? We are adding tomatoes. Pimentos and hot pepper. Some of the onions first. Let's start. We are adding the green seasoning and the garlic. Right, so let's add in about a quarter cup of water just now. We add in the rest of the okra and the whatever remain on the plate, right? Right, this serving is about eight persons. So we're using three cups of rice. So it's about eight persons average and it would work just perfectly. Right, so we're gonna have the salt with the salt seasoning now. Right, so we add in two teaspoons of sars and tropical. Let's have a teaspoon of black pepper. Two teaspoons of the Maggi all purpose. And remember, we are not coming in for the rice, so we are adding a little very really extra season, right? One teaspoon salt, two teaspoons salt. All right, because that's coming in for the rice, so we are adding the little extra salt season, right? Because that rice will absorb all that salt. We are in a little, let's have a quarter cup, about a half cup of water there. And everything simmer down here. And you go in the next cooking process. So if you had your meat to do, you would add your meat before this, all this, like when the onions and garlic, you add your meat stuff, 
Let it fry up and then you can add the rest of the okra and all these things, right? If you want to eat. With any like any meat of your choice. So we just add about a half cup of water again, let it simmer down. Then we will add because we want our okra to go down and kind of melt, then we will add our rice and cook everything together. Right, so the okra and simmer down here now. We're looking good here, we will add the rice, we added the carrots, one, one whole carrot, we add dice, right? We add in three cups of rice, three cups of normal brown rice. We just have to take it together, now we have to cook with everything. We still have a few ingredients to add to this. We will add it, we'll add it while we go in with your side, celery and some golden ray, right? A piece of golden ray butter. And the golden ray totally optional to you. But you know that rich Caribbean flavor, that yellow salt butter, that cooking butter. So you add in the coconut milk here now to it. The three packs, right? We always mix the coconut milk with cold water, like room temperature water first. And it just dilute a lot better in hot, than in hot water, right? The coconut milk is what gives this, enhances this food with rich flavor. The coconut milk, right? As I say, Maggie is the preferred brand that we use. The next brand that comes close to Maggie was the Maybell brand. But who live abroad, um, that's probably use the best brand that you are custom using. And it will work fine, right? So we're going to top this off with some hot water now. From the kettle, from the electric kettle. We're going to um, top this off with some hot water and cover it down. And if you had to add pigeon peas to this, you could add it. But we're having this with some stew pigeon peas. As you have seen our recipe before, we have having to do the stew, stew pigeon peas. So I would leave the link in the description below for the stew pigeon peas recipe. Um, because you know, we're just not eating any meat today, we fasting. Right, so we'll have these a full vegan meal we're eating, right? Right, so we're adding some golden right now. Two teaspoons of golden ray. Right, we add in the hot water now. And add a little bit of cold water from the container with the coconut milk. We will rinse it out. We will mix the coconut milk. So we top this off here and then we will add the celery and um, side coming out to the last, right? So we top this off with water, put the kettle back to hot. Right, cover down this. And let us cook in low heat, low to medium heat. And we check back in this about 10 minutes. We're going to check back the pot here now. Everything coming out nice here. Are you guys done? Coming out it's so soft already. Now we like we the food uh, like this, especially like pillow on this thing. A little sappy as you will see the pillow video. We don't like any dry, dry cooker price, right? We like it a kind of sappy, a little wettish. Um, that's not wet, wet like this, but sticky. That's how we like it, right? So here now, where you can see, you can just bring the okra to the side of the pot. And just kind of mash it up here. As you go along while you turn in the pot, right? Just mash it up all the okra now here to to get it down. So we're going to add back some water to this again. You see the rich color that's coming into? Rich and nice color. Creamy. Nice creamy look. This is a Caribbean dish guys. An okra cook up rice you call it. Really nice Caribbean dish. Right, so you top this back up with some water. 
you check back in the sub or probably about 10 minutes ago. Alright guys, you gonna check out the okra rice here now. We added back just one cup of water just now. As I say we like it a little kind of sappy, right? A little sticky. We don't like the rice too grainy, we like it soft. Right, we have this is some pigeon peas as I say. A full vegan meal. An amazing meal. Right, so if it, if it turn up the stove from here now, all this, all this, all this fluid, extra liquid in here, will just pull down and get sticky, sticky. So that's the okra rice here. I right, will show you the final product in our plate. So let's get us about five minutes again, turn it off. I right, don't forget our sister channel, Trini Out and About, to check it out, subscribe it as well. I right, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share these videos from Trini Flavor. Tell our friend, tell our family. Quick recipes on the go. Yeah, so this is the final plate in the okra rice. Really nice dish, Caribbean dish, Trini style, Trini flavor. Sticky, nice okra rice. Okra cook up rice, right? So don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Tell a friend, tell a family about the channel. Subscribe to it. Hit that notification bell for more upcoming videos. Until next edition of Trini Flavor, bubble up one.